Let's make a super cute taco, perfect for a keychain or any other little gifting options you'd like. Uh, super easy pattern. You don't even have to weave in your ends. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in color saffron. I really love this color. I've used it a lot lately. Uh, and then just maybe some scrap yarn, worsted weight yarn in um, green, brown, and red tapestry needle, size H crochet hook. And you can choose to add the face or not. I'm using some safety eyes and then we can stitch on a little mouth. So let's get started. You're gonna grab your yellow yarn and your hook. And we are going to make a magic ring. Chain one. And make 10 single crochets in the ring. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull tight, join to that first single crochet. Round two, chain one, and make two single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, join to your first single crochet, chain one. Now for round three, we're gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next. So two single crochets in the first, one single crochet in the next. Then you're just gonna repeat that around. So two single crochets all in one stitch, one single crochet in the next. Two single crochets, one single crochet all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna join to that first single crochet just as before, chain one. Round four is super easy. We're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, you should have 30 single crochets. Now for our last round for the taco shell, chain one, we're gonna make two single crochets in the first and then a single crochet in the next two and repeat that around. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two. Two single crochets all in one stitch, one single crochet in the next two. And just repeat that around. Okay, we're at the end. We're gonna join, and then we're gonna fasten this off. We're gonna leave fairly long tail because you're gonna need this, All right? And then let's set this aside for a minute, okay? There's your taco shell. It's gonna be folded in half, all right? But so far we're looking good. Okay, so let's do the fixings. Um, let's grab the brown yarn. 
okay? We're gonna be making like a half circle with this. So we're gonna start by making a magic ring. We're going to chain one and we're gonna make six single crochets in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're gonna pull tight, but we're not gonna join, okay? So we have a little half circle here. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn and we're gonna be working in rows. So you're gonna make two single crochets in that first, single crochet in the next four, Come on. And then we're gonna do two single crochets in that last stitch. Okay. See your little half circle there? You're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn, and we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch. Okay, you should have eight single crochets there. You're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn, okay? And now we are gonna do two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, and that is going to be your final um, round there for your um, little meat, half circle meat patty, I guess we'll call it. Um, so now let's go ahead and we can clip that yarn off. Um, join in your green yarn. Let's make the lettuce. Okay, so I'm joining that in. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, skip that first stitch and make three single crochets in the next. And then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to join to the next with a slip stitch. We're going to skip the next and make three single crochets all in the stitch after that. Skip a stitch. Jo join with a slip stitch. Skip a stitch, make three single crochets, skip a stitch, join, skip a stitch, three single crochets, skip a stitch, and you're just gonna join right there to the last. And there you have your lettuce. Okay, let's that off okay now let's make a little bit of uh red for the tomato all right so all i'm gonna do is i already have my tapestry needle connected to a long strand of red and we're just gonna weave in and out right under the lettuce kind of in that last um row there of uh the brown and we're just going to kind of go back and forth with the tapestry needle just to create a little bit of diced tomato there, huh? You guys think of that. That works out well. So just in and out of these stitches. Almost done. Perfect, right? All right. I'm just going to clip off the yarn. Let's move this over so you can see. 
All right, you have your fixings. So now you could knot these ends just so they don't come unraveled. Um, go ahead and do that to all of them. Just kind of knot two together. And I am not gonna worry about weaving these in because really what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your taco shell. You're just gonna stuff your taco. Just put these in here. No one will ever see them, right? Okay, like that. What do you think? All right, but before we stitch it up, um, if you want to, you could add some safety eyes to make a cute little face. So you're gonna stick the eyes in there. Okay. Just press down, get those backings on. You could take another little strand of your brown, whatever you have left over and make a cute little smile. All you need to do is make like a V stitch for the smile, right? Cute. Hope you guys can see that, yep. And again, I would just um, knot this. Don't even bother weaving in. Okay. All right, so let's stuff our taco. Oh, I forgot I have that middle one too. I'm just gonna clip that a little shorter, but I'm gonna leave it. Okay, stuff all those little ends in there. We don't need to see them. Oh, I'm gonna go this way actually. Okay, fold it over. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, right? All right, now you're gonna take your long strand with your tapestry needle, and we're gonna get to stitching this together. So you're just gonna um, kind of pinch these edges together and just work your needle back and forth, kind of like we did with the tomato. Get, your, get that lettuce out there. Hold it together. I'm gonna get that in there, but I also want it to show. Okay, so I'm gonna work all the way through to the back side. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I'm just working the needle all the way through. Last little strand in there. Yay, we did it. All right, so you could weave this in or you could just make a loop and make a little yarn keychain. Uh, you can buy these off, um, I believe I got these on Amazon, these little uh, key rings, they come in a big pack. You could attach one to that and you have a cute little taco. They would be great for, um, you know, the top of, top of a little gift card or whatever you wanna use these for. Super cute. Here's our taco. Yummy, yummy. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Hope you enjoy. Pattern on repeatcrafterme.com.